fire. Hi guys, Napison is here. Welcome to another episode how to make the ace in World of Tanks. If you're not interested in making the ace, surely this will help you to perform better in the game. This time I picked the tier 8 Soviet Premium Heavy Tank, the IS-6. The drafts for this project were designed in the winter of 1943, but because its armor was inferior to the IS-4, this vehicle was not chosen for production. In patch 7.3, the IS-6 replaced the KV-5 as the Soviet Tier 8 Premium Heavy Tank, so it is one of the original Premium Heavy Tanks from the game. The playstyle of the IS-6 is as a frontline smasher, due to its incredible armor and very inaccurate gun. This tank is not a sniper, so don't use it like that. When we talk about Premium Tanks, it is very important to know if they have or not special matchmaking. The IS-6 has special matchmaking, that means that this tank will never face two tier higher vehicles. Let's see now the general stats, and let's start this with the firepower. What we see here is calculated with the crew skills, equipment and consumables that we have on this tank. Let's see now the gun. It has the 122mm D30 gun. And this gun has 175mm of penetration with the regular round and that is AP. And it has 390 damage per shell. 217mm of penetration with the gold round and that is APCR and it has also 390 damage per shell. 61mm of penetration with HE and it has 530 damage per shell. Let's see now the actual reload time, is 9.66 seconds. The gun depression is characteristic for the Soviets, minus 6 degrees. The aiming time 3.12, the accuracy 0.42 and the DPM is actually good, 2423. Let's see now the survivability. As you can see, very standard hit points for a tier 8 heavy tank, 1550. And let's see now the armor. The hull is 100mm on the front, 100mm at the sides and 60mm at the rear. The turret is 150mm on the front, 150mm at the sides and 100mm at the rear. Let's see now the mobility. It weighs 52.3 tons fully equipped. The engine power is good, 700 horsepower, and it gives an acceptable 13.39 horsepower per ton. The top speed is alright for a heavy 35 km per hour, reverse speed 14 km per hour. The traverse speed is 31.49. So it's not very sluggish for a heavy tank. Let's see now the concealment, actually it's good for a heavy tank, 8.95 for a stationary vehicle and 5.48 for a moving one. Let's see now the spotting, view range, bad for a tier 8 heavy, 384 meters and signal range standard 761 meters. Let's check now the IS-6 armor in the tanks GG. So the IS-6 in the tanks GG. First of all the IS-6 is a low silhouette and it has a very beautiful sloped armor all around. So let's check the hull. The lower plate. 204. Angled 236. The upper plate. 174 angled 187 driver's hatch 196 angled 206 the cheeks of the hull 
ricochet but angled for side scraping you're gonna create a flat zone and is 181 so you can pen here side scraping the sides ricochet the sides 131 let's see now the turret the mantlet space armor 354 <laughs> near the mantlet 202 the cheeks of the turret ricochet commander's hatch 150 this is 150 the side of the turret is 182 so the IS-6 armor is a real nightmare for the poor tier 6 and 7 tanks but for tier 8 and 9 is a different scenario so let's go back to the garage so the first step is the crew skills the IS-6 has a crew of 4 members so this tank is an excellent crew trainer for the tier 10 Soviet heavy tank, the IS-4. We have the commander, the gunner, the driver and the loader. The commander is also the radio operator. Because this tank is a premium one, you can use any member from your Soviet heavy tanks without the penalty for retraining. As you can see I have my STA crew on this tank. So the two most important skills in the game are Six Sense and Brothers in Arms. So the commander has Brothers in Arms, Repairs, Six Sense, Recon and Situational Awareness. The Gunner, Brothers in Arms, Repair, Snapshot, Armor and Dead Eye. The Driver, Brothers in Arms, Repair, Smooth Ride, Clutch Braking and Off-Road Driving. And the Loader, Brothers in Arms, Repairs, Intuition, Safe Storage and Adrenaline Rush. As you can see I have a very professional crew on this tank. The crews from the premium tanks get extra experience for crew training. That's why their skills grow faster. The second step is the equipment and we're gonna put the improved ventilation clustering that gives plus 5% to all crew skills, the gun ramer for faster reload and vertical step that gives plus 20% to accuracy movie during movement and turret rotation. The third step is the exterior. Because I keep this tier 8 premium tank permanently in my garage, I bought permanent camo with gold and apply camouflage for winter, summer and desert. This paint gives the tank plus 2% better camo values and I put this inscription. Merciless. <laughs> because it's suitable for the IS-6. The fourth step is the consumables, which are small repair kit, large first aid kit and the automatic fire extinguisher that gives plus 10% to fire protection. With these combinations is very easy to make an ace. So let's see this tank in action. Welcome to the replay. The map is Karelia and I'm in an assault. As you can see I'm top tier thanks to the special matchmaking that the IS-6 has. This is the normal matchmaking for the IS-6, most of the time you will be top tier. As I said in the garage, this tank's place is in the front line. And to highlight this, I used my first Ace gameplay because this is the most relevant to illustrate this tank's gameplay. And that is in the middle of the enemies. Because I'm using a professional crew on this tank, it will perform extraordinary. You will see in this replay. I'm using 13 regular ammo, 13 gold and 4 HE. That means only 30 rounds. The IS-6 doesn't carry a lot of ammunition, but it is enough. If you manage to connect them all, you will have 12,260 damage. I see the Chaffee. Snapshot. And here's our first kill. I didn't see the Type 59 because I was focused on the FCM 50 and he damaged me. I couldn't damage him. Let's read it in a hold down position. Now the FCM 50 damaged my tank. 
Let's go after the Type 59. Again, nothing. Lower plate of the Type 59. And finally, damage after I wasted a couple of shots. And my teammates killed him. The side of the T-54 mod 1, no problem to penetrate him. The sneaky AT-15 damaged me from the distance. As you can see the IS-6 is a little bit sluggish. Another damage into the T-54 mod 1. Come on reload. And... <laughs> I'm Orak. I was lucky. Let's change position. And let's go to help the T-34. I see his shots, so the T-43 is going after him. But I want to cover him due to its very long reload time. Damage on the move. And let's put myself in front of the T-34 to protect his weak hull armor. This is the right angling with the IS-6. As you noticed, I took two bounces. <laughs> and once again ricochet. And I take the kill. Finally I'm revenging on the FCM-50. And my teammates finished him. Let's go after the Borsig. He is one shot for me. Ready to fire. And here's our high caliber. Look here. Let's finish the remaining two enemies. First, the King Tiger. Look at this painfully long aiming time. Aim. Aim. Finally. Now let's finish the last enemy, the AT-15. I see his side. Ha, <laughs> unbelievable. Let's ride the gold ammo. And here's our fifth kill, and we win. I hope that I highlighted with this game the playstyle of the IS-6 and its inadequate gun for damaging the same tier. Let's see now the post-game stats. So here's our mastery badge, Ace Tanker. And we also managed to pick up the high caliber for the damage done in this game. We got 4257 experience with the premium account, that was double. We managed to give almost 4000 damage. We picked up 5 kills and we received 1351 basic experience. Shots fired 16, direct hits 16 and 12 penetrated. Damage blocked by armor 1350. And we also managed to do 774 spot damage. Now let's see the most important thing for us. Will this tank bring you money or not? And look here. We made 114,833 credits. And because we used a lot of premium shells, we made a profit of only 68,227 credits with the premium account. 
So it makes money. Secondly, bonus experience for the crew. 203 experience. In conclusion, does this tank for the gold or not? No, it doesn't. Because when you choose a premium tank, it is very important to have a good penetration with the regular round. So you don't have to use premium shells and premium account to make credits. The ISX has only 175mm penetration with the regular round, unlike the Ester S1 with 288mm penetration with the regular round, or the Rametal Scorpion G with 246. Although the ISX will never face tier 10, thanks to its special matchmaking, it will not be capable of damaging a lot of tier 9 heavies, like the Type 4 Heavy or the STI for example. This tank really needs a buff to its penetration to keep up with the new premium heavy tanks. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, good luck on the battlefield and see you in the next episode.